Good morning and welcome to your morning wrap of the front pages of the newspapers today in South Africa. We start with the business day and yesterday's SMP story, Standard and Poor's, the rating agency, giving South Africa two years to fix its frailties. Top of the list, of course, is Eskom and its apparent inability to keep the lights on. It has been keeping the lights on for the past week and a half. Uh, ESCOM saying this morning that the situation remains unchanged and the same and barring any big problems, additional problems, we should not see load shedding this week or today. The Citizen front page, of course, a uh, lot of papers leading with the story of yesterday's murder of rapper Flabba Habedi. He was stabbed at home in the early hours of the morning in Alexandra. His brother recalls how the rapper died in his arms. Today, of course, a 26-year-old woman to appear in the Alexandra Magistrates Court. The star also leading with Flabba's last moments. Promising hip-hop star stabbed in the heart after a fight with the love of his life. The front page of the Beelt, the story of Marley van Breda. The Beelt saying that she's been released from hospital. She is talking, but she's not 100% yet. Uh, we'll obviously also be following that and seeing developments after, of course, her fa three of her family members, her mother, her father, and her eldest brother, were killed in an axe attack at home. The other person who survived the attack is her middle brother. Pretoria News has a story of the Hawks judge colluded. The judge, Elias Matojane, is outraged at reports that he colluded with uh, Shadrach Sabia, that is, of course, the suspended head of the Hawks in Gauteng. Then also a photograph of Given Nkosi, a 15-year-old. He returned from the Cape Town cycling tour with his medal to his home in Salvo Corp. And also there is a whole string of medals that he has won in different sporting codes. Definitely a young, budding South African star. Then the Soweto, interesting story on the front page. Nyaupe addicts terrorize churches. And then a photograph on the red carpet at Sona of Musi Maimani, the DA's parliamentary leader. And it says, drugs found at Maimani's church. Now, uh, a small packet of tuk was apparently found at the church. But more interestingly, to learn that Maimani is a lay preacher and he preaches as a pastor at this church when obviously he's in town and he has time. Those some of the stories on the front pages of the newspapers today. Of course, we will be following that court appearance in Alexandra of the 26-year-old woman who was arrested in connection with Flabba's murder. Then, of course, also keeping an eye on the rand, it dropped even further from yesterday, this morning, trading at 12 rand 16 to the US dollar. And we'll be keeping you updated on all the developments on Twitter, at Jacka News, and, of course, on our news blog, jacarandafm.com.